Hey guys, it's good to be back. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I've been working a lot more now than I was when I first um, started up uploading to YouTube. So um, today uh, we're going to do a review on the new Bath & Body Works uh, laundry detergent. And I did pick up three of the new scents. Um, here's the box right here. So we're gonna go ahead and unpackage this um, and see what these are doing. We'll, like I said, we'll run a load and um, see if the scent's still there. Now, I watched a couple um, review videos on the sample packs that they were handing out. Now, I was not able to get uh, one of the sample packs. I just didn't make it to the into the store because if you were a rewards member, they give you a free sample pack. I just didn't have time to drive out there for a pack of laundry detergent. So when I saw that, they had a member, um, I think it was a members, early members premiere or something. I don't know what they call these promos, but they were selling these for $11.95 a piece, which I'm like, I mean, to me it's pricey um, because I love gain. That's what I usually use. Everything's gain, the detergent, the pods, the scent beads, the um, dryer sheets. So, but I did want to give it a try. Um, I don't know why in my head I thought these were scent beads and not laundry detergent. So, apparently they're supposed to be coming out with scent beads to go with the laundry detergent. So, I'll give the laundry detergent a try. And hopefully they come up with the scent beads soon because I don't feel like laundry ever really smells the way um, a particular brand wants to smell unless you have those like scent boosters with it. So, but anyway, let's not make this video too, too long. I'm not going to talk your head off. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up the box and see um, what these bottles look like. Like I said, I had seen a few of the short videos where people were posting um, washing with just the little... A sample packet so uh, let's see this is like a true unboxing I haven't even opened it I don't know what's going on here um, let's see how they packaged it so this is how mine came just like this um, looks like they have some air packs on top and then three boxes of laundry detergent that I order so these boxes look pretty big let me pull one out and they also have more air, um, other bubble wrap on the bottom. So this is just one box right here. And inside this box, more bubble wrap. And then here is the actual bottle. Okay, so this is a decent size. Oh, I'm matching. I did not do this on purpose, y'all. I'm telling you, I did not know that this was actually going to match my shirt. But we have two more bottles. Um, to unbox anyway so this one is the cozy cashmere um it's called the fabric care detergent concentrated formula we're gonna see how concentrated it is because i'm telling you game smells so good like original game like everything i even have in the wax warmer back there behind me is the wax uh, the febreze original game wax melt smells so good so anywho this is 32 fluid ounces and it says fragrance notes are smooth lavender, warm vanilla, and pink jasmine. I don't know if you can see that on there or not. So it is a concentrated formula, um, combines the science of stain fighting with perfumer created fine fragrances. Perfumer, does that sound, fr does that sound right? I don't know. But um, created fine fragrances to reimagine re what clean laundry smells like. So it's supposed to wash up to 64 loads, this bottle, 32 ounces. So I'm guessing two ounces per load. Um, concentrated formula, high efficiency, cleans in cold water. So to have you take a look at that on the back, if you can see that. And directions, squeeze sides of cap, twist to open, follow care label instructions, test for color fastness on the inside seam. Using the cap, you fill the line one for small loads, two for large loads. Which, let's be real, because I overdo everything. It's probably going to be two, two for everything. If not, maybe two and then one more cap pull. So, um, I will not be getting 64 loads out of this. I'm just going to be real with you. So, let's go ahead and pop this seal. And, hey, this is like a cute bottle. This is really aesthetically pleasing. So, 
let's give it a smell. I don't know if you can see like the, I mean, it smells good. It doesn't stink or anything. I would definitely, uh, cozy cashmere, I don't know if I would wash. This might be more for like blankets. Like if I'm like washing blankets in the fall and um, maybe towels. I don't know if I would want my clothes to smell like cozy cashmere, but this would be something definitely for like uh, linens and stuff like that I would be all right with. So there's that one. So I did get, there was five available. I think the other two scents was mahogany, mahogany antique wood. Now I'm like thinking like maybe I should have gotten that one because I do like that smell. It's more of a manlier smell. Um, but I don't mind that and I cannot remember what the other one was. I would have to look that up But honestly, I think Bath and Body Works said they sold out of all the laundry detergent the first day So they're on their whole re-up re -up, and then they'll be able to sell more. So uh, Let's see what else is in These other two boxes I know one is sun drenched linen. I know I did get that and I can't remember what the third one was so we're going to see here in a moment. Same same type of packaging. Oh, uh, this is um, uh, lavender vanilla. That's what this one is. Yeah. So here's that pretty little purple lavender bottle. Lavender vanilla right there. So same, just same directions. Only the notes on this one is lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, and white wood. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like maybe I wouldn't keep these, but now that I'm thinking about it, I could always wash my sheets and these if I don't like it on, like, on my clothes. So we're going to go ahead and open it all up and give it a smell. Now, lavender vanilla, I absolutely love. It's such a good smell. Um, I actually like it in the body care because um, it smells really good. Yeah, that smells good. I would say that definitely smells better than cozy cashmere, but as I said before, cozy cashmere doesn't stink. It just, this just to me smells better. So that is the uh, lavender vanilla uh, laundry detergent. And like I said, I think these are be good once you get the scent boosters, but listen, let's be real. At the end of the day, Gain and Todd have proven themselves. Um, and these, Regular price are $21. Now, child, I could have 60 some pods of game for 15. So, at Dollar General, plus a coupon, because Dollar General give out coupons, them $5 coupons on Saturday. And they usually have a $3 coupon if you spend, or $5 coupon if you spend $30 on game items. So, Bath and Bodies, don't, don't, don't get too crazy with these prices. Now, you're going to be selling scent beads for $20, too. That's, that's not going to be, that's not going to be good for people who want to actually get your products because prices is getting outrageous. I mean, we got stuff like getting tied on the market, but anywho, so third box this is the last one because I got three. Like I said, they were $11.95 a piece. You could only order them um, through online or on the app. Um, and then plus you had to pay for shipping and handling. So I think my bill actually came out to like 40 some bucks, 40, about $48. Yeah, it's, it's a lot for three of these, but we got to try stuff out sometimes. So this one is sun drenched linen. I knew I had gotten something that was linen, um, scented. So there's the bottle on that pretty little light blue, um, bottle. And the notes on this is fresh linen crisp apple and soft musk so let's give this a little smell now sun drenched linen smells really good but i'm telling you the the, the scent they should have came out with and i even put it put it in the comments when they were asking people for uh, what they thought they would want their laundry to smell like and i really really was pushing for cotton and freesia because that straight up smells like tide like it smells like laundry detergent but they keep pulling stuff off the market you know recycling stuff bringing out new stuff so you bring cotton and freesia back in this in the scent beads yes i i will buy that absolutely so once again oh yeah listen i should got three of these this is where it's at right here now i kind of want to try to cozy cashmere but this is busting so this is what we're going to use today we're going to use the um sundry linen we're going to try it out 
I'm gonna go downstairs in my little Pittsburgh basement. Don't be leaving no comments about it because it's legit a basement. But we are going to wash it low, dry it, and let's see how much of that scent is retained. So I won't use any of my scent beads that I already have. We won't use any bleach. We just want a real review of how these hold up once it's been washed and dried. Um, like I said, in all honesty, if you really want this to work out, I, I would come out with the detergent, the scent beads, and dryer sheets. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it all the way, right? So let's take this downstairs and try it out and see how it works out on actual clothes. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, guys, here we are. What I have loaded in here are just some um, bed sheets, um, a few little knock around clothes like shorts and stuff, nothing, anything serious to that. If something happens with this, um, since I did not test for color fastness, it's not going to even matter. So, um, here I have the, uh, laundry detergent right here and we'll go ahead and we are going to use, now I would consider this a large load for us. So I'm going to use the, um, line two, which it says right there, um, line one for small loads, line two for large loads. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and fill that up, put it on top. Now I usually... As I said before, I usually use the Gain um, pods, so I don't really even deal with liquid detergent. Um, so I'm just going to pour it right here on top and hope for the best. So I don't know if you can see down in there um, the lines where you fill. So that's what we're going to utilize for our measurement. Wow, this, I tell you what, this sun-drenched linen it smells really, really good. Um, hold up. These lines look like they're the same height. So let's stop playing and just pour something in here and quit playing. So there that is. And Got a little bit on the outside of the bottle, so I'm just going to take my sheet and just make sure I wipe the bottle itself off. Stuff that back down in there. Let's go ahead and close the lid. And then we will just do regular load. Um, I really don't like washing my darks on hot, so we'll do warm deep water wash. And then hit start. Let's see what it does. We'll put them in a the dryer here in a little bit. Okay, y'all, let's load it in the dryer. I'm just going to be honest. I don't smell much of anything. It's going to be hard for me to, uh, knowing that I don't smell much detergent at all while it's wet, um, for me not to put <laughs> some dryer sheets in here. <laughs> so I'm literally just loading this stuff in here, and then we're going to let this stuff um, dry. And then we'll see what happens once they're dry. Okay, y'all. So the verdict is in. Um, so I have the load of laundry right here next to me. I'm just going to grab a towel from out of it. And I did take a sniff before I started, you know, this portion of the video. And it smells good. Um, for me, it's, it's a very light scent. So, I mean, you have to kind of bury your nose in it and smell it. It's not one of those things where you would get, like, it could be this far away from your face and you can smell the smell in it. I don't smell anything here, but if I bury my face in it, I can smell the um, sun-drenched linen. So, I, okay, so let me be honest. I honestly think that this line has potential. It has potential, but they have to come out with the other products just to be, we are so used to using other additives in our um, laundry um, like I said, the scent beads, and then I usually throw at least two dryer sheets in the dryer. It may sound wasteful, uh, but that's just how I've always done laundry, um, is to have those type of products. And just having the detergent is probably just not enough smell for me, but I'm telling you, the sun drenched liner really does smell good. I, it, I can actually smell it in the towel. So um, I think for now, I'm going to hold off on using those products. I'll just set them aside downstairs and then... Once they come out with the additional products that goes to, as long as they do a early preview member rewards type thing, where I'm not paying full price for it, then I'll purchase the additional products and then we'll revisit their detergent again, along with the rest of the line. But 
For right now, um, I would not use just the laundry detergent. I would need that with the scent boosters and then another, um, and then dryer sheets for right now. So I think for now, I'm gonna put that on pause, go back to using my regular gain. But like I said, I think this line definitely does have, have potential. Um, would I recommend you try it now? Probably not. I would wait until other products come out that match these scents that you can use all together during your while, while you're washing your laundry so that's my take on the new bath and body works laundry detergent um guys if you enjoyed this video please just leave a like uh, leave me a comment on what you think uh, bath and body works should be, should be doing i've seen even people saying just stick the bath ca um, body care and um candles <laughs> so some people are not for Bath and Body Works doing laundry detergent. And I completely understand. Like, we are used to what we're used to. But I'm going to give it a try as long as they come up with those other products. Like I said, we'll revisit this again and, and see if it's more of a pungent um, smell. So, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. I love you. Take care and God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.